Welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to allow Home Assistant to track the current status of your Microsoft Teams instance. This method will simply look at the Teams log file activities on your PC, so there's no need for admin access or use of Microsoft Graph API. The example being shown here changes the colour of a light bulb dependent on the current Teams status. This is just one use case. Obviously, you could create a different automation based on this team sensor state. It will just come down to your imagination. The sensors and Home Assistant track both the activity and status of Teams. So in this case, when I leave the Teams meeting, the activity sensor status shows not in a call. When I then change to available, the status sensor also shows available, which then calls a service to change the color of my light bulb. Firstly, we need to add in some new entities on the configuration.yaml file. So these are two input text entities and two template sensors. As always, I'll have the code linked in the description and also on my GitHub. This is nice and easy as there's nothing on this section that needs to be changed. Once that code is in, we just need to restart Home Assistant to activate these new entities. When Home Assistant is back online, the last thing we need to do here is generate a long-lived access token. Come to the bottom of the user profile page, click create token, give it a name and hit OK. Make sure you copy this token, this is the only time you'll be able to view it. The next section will be the script run on your PC to get the team status. Head to my GitHub page, you'll need to grab the directory called scripts and move it to the root of your C drive. If you're unsure, I've created a batch file for you which will pull the contents of the scripts directory, move it to where it needs to go and then opens the settings file where we need to make a few changes specific to our setup. So here I've ran the batch file, it's pulled the scripts directly from my GitHub repo, moved it to the C drive and deleted the parts we don't need. Now I'll just open up the settings.ps1 file. Firstly, we'll need to paste in the long-lived access token we copied from Home Assistant a second ago. Next is the username you use to log into your PC. If you don't know what this is, open command prompt and run echo username. The user password is the password you use to log into your PC. Be aware, you can't use the PIN, it has to be the password. Finally, you need to include Home Assistant's URL. So this will work with both HTTPS and internal HTTP URLs. Once that's done, save and close the file, then double click on the file named Run. This will run the script and also create a task in Windows Task Scheduler to run the script whenever you log into your PC. At this point, make sure Microsoft Teams is running. We can go back to Home Assistant and open the Developer Tools and search for the state of our Teams sensors. Hopefully, you should now be able to see what the current state and activity of Teams is within your Home Assistant instance. While we're here, we can test this further. Currently, the status says busy. If I now go onto Teams and start a meeting, the activity sensor will change its state to in a call. From here, you can go and create an automation. On my GitHub, I've provided a blueprint which will allow you to change the color of a light bulb based on the current team status. Click on Import Blueprint, make sure the URL matches the URL of your own Home Assistant, and click Open Link. On Home Assistant, click Preview and Import Blueprint. From here, you can now use the blueprint by clicking Create Automation. The only thing that needs changing in this automation is the entity ID for the light bulb you want to use. Click on Save and give the automation a name and then just click Rename. From here, I'm just going to add the sensor and light entities to my dashboard and make sure this all works correctly. With Teams open, if I change the status to Available, the light I'm using on the automation should turn green. And finally, if I now start a Teams meeting, the light should turn red. And that's it for this video. Hopefully some of you Teams users out there find this useful. Let me know some ideas how you'll be using this in the comments below. If you did find this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest content.